Thank you for staying with us. Julie, we are going to be looking at the lessons from this. No, no, no. I think the 10th National Assembly should have the responsibility of tinkering with that CBN autonomy. Look at it again. You know, at, um, <laughs> we never envisage <laughs> this situation. Maybe there are times when you have to, when a law or a piece of legislation is a, a little ambiguous, it leaves room for abuse. Mm. But I'm happy for one thing that the Supreme Court decided. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have responsibility on monetary matters. Mm -hmm. Just like some of those uh, funny lawyers who are quoting, as if the CBN, nobody can talk to the CBN on mm -hmm. uh, the law. Because they have the autonomy. Budget. Which, which, which autonomy? When people now, are dying. Now the law says that you must give sufficient time. The Supreme Court ruled that you didn't give sufficient time. Yeah. In other climes, they give a whole year, or yeah. two years. And during that time, the currencies will be circulating side, by, side by side. But once the old one enters into the banking system, it they, never comes yeah, back. They, they, they told him. All the people, I, I've read some comments by even um, uh, Rewane, uh, even Doyi, uh, Dr. Doyi, the My, advisor. Yeah, you do, know? Yeah. Doi Salami. The people, Doi Salami. People, no, no, none of them expected what happened, and they were not consulted. So, the framers of the law, the National Assembly, may have to take a second look at that thing and where there is ambiguity, make it clear that in the event of so, 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 this is what should happen. You know, um, this is this legislation was made in two thousand and seven, but clearly abused. You, they can't say you must give ample time. And on your own, you will determine that, okay, just three months three or months. four months is ample time. When you, don't have, when you don't have capacity and you don't have to, the capacity, to, you don't to have print, the infrastructure. To print enough. And no infrastructure I mean, to back electronic in, banking. Yes. In fact, in fact, what we might be dealing with is, you know, we might not get this over with in the next three no, months. No, I've said repeatedly that. We might not we'll get be, this we'll Indians, we'll when be. Indians did something like this, they too achieved nothing at the end of the mm. day. In 2016, when the Indians came up with this um, uh, 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 cash swap because they wanted to catch people involved in black money, See, I would have. They I mean, suffered for about two years. Did they? Self inflicted. I, I would have sleep. expected the president, Wadi, mm. to try this in 2019 when he was running for second time. Why will you? You don't want no, to be no, elected. No, he should, have, he should have tried it no, to show wouldn't. us that it's actually sincere. Yeah, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. See, a lot, he a lot of cottage industries. A lot of small scale industries they are, are dead. dead. No. No. Because there are some things, okay, you want to. You want to uh, Those farmers. You, you want, no, they want as little as you want to gauge your tire. You want to change your tire. You want to do a transfer of 200 naira to change your tire. Oh, we'll do, we'll or those guys. Or go, those, 50 naira. Yes. You want well, to come up with And the SMEs are the real engine of yes. boats. So you want to go to a barber? I said, somebody came to fix my AC. He was telling me his bill was 15,000. He said, Please, sir, give me 5,000 naira cash. Forget about the 10,000. Hmm. Say it's useless. I, mean, I said. We we'll transfer money he said, and they cannot. He said, no, if I can naira, give him so 5,000 naira for a job of 15,000, it was as bad as that. He said, I said, are, are, you, are you saying I should transfer? He said, no, just give me 5,000 and we go. Hmm. It was we as hold on bad to that cash for a long time. It was bad. It was bad. So what are we talking about? And somebody, some and, people want to buy the currency. And some of these characters. People are buying naira. They wanted to buy, they won't even see Some of buy. these characters no, no. supporting this policy were calling us behind to ask for Naira. I mean, so something is inherently wrong with you. I'm be, I'm if, talking nonsense. If you, 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 you try to be politically correct, you, you support a shitty policy only to, behind you to you are suffering. Eh. It's better if something is bad. Let us condemn it and ask for change. Yes. Yoruba will say, ah, eh, and, eh, 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 <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nonsense. <laughs> you that is the thing. You are blaming the owner for not keeping it properly uh, well. Uh, uh, instead uh, of, saying, Robert, uh, instead uh, of uh, the abusing the thief. Uh, you are saying that you too, why were you careless <laughs> when you put your money? No, that is calling us from Abuja. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, thank you for joining us, Bunga. Good, good evening, DJ. Good evening, Ayo. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, I appreciate what people are doing. You stood by the suffering Nigeria, and we appreciate you. Also, we need to commend the governors, APC governor that went to court. Yes. They showed that 
Even though they were accused of fighting their party, yeah. the party is divided, the party is falling, they mm. stood by their Charles, people yeah. that yeah. people should not suffer. Yeah. And because they were right. elected for, no, they were elected are, so that to protect their people. No, you are right. We don't condemn them for this. If not for them, we don't get this judgment. They were finified. The they are called different names that have money somewhere they are hidden. Yes. They are yes. not come out to support uh, to, uh, to pass against ASU. How would they pass against ASU? ASU is a dispute with you, employer and employee. What for them with it? Don't mind the, don't don't mind the people. Don't don't the, all those arguments, those, those are, argument. those are silly idea. arguments. Mm. Thank you very much for your Those question. are silly thank arguments. You, thank you. Thank you. This money matters affects mm. every Nigerian. ASU strike did not affect Every Nigerian. every Nigerian. There are private universities who do yes. not give a damn. Mm -hmm. There of are course. public, I mean, state universities that do not give a damn about us. Well, everybody needs but Naira. everybody needs Naira. money. So when you want to, when when you want to compare things, no, see, I mean, uh, compare. Kudos to Elufai. Kudos to Governor Nasser Elufai. Yabelo. Governor. Yes. Even the Governor Abiodun Prince. Abiodun. The Governor of Ekiti State. Yes. Who said? We jail anybody, anybody who refused to take the Naira, Governor of Bajibao. And of late, the Lagos State Governor, yes. Yes. who issued yes. a statement just and, uh, that, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The Lagos Governor issued a uh, statement that they can pay the Naira to people who are not working. Yes. The Lagos Governor issued a statement that they can pay people can pay government agencies yes. in, in, old in old currency. So these governors, in the true spirit of federalism, resisted. An aberration and and shame to the governors of uh, Edo that went to court against mm. their own people. Against mm. their own people. Against their shame, shame people. to all of no, them. No, but at the end of the day, did they not serve them breakfast? Yes, no, no, no. He, he was came to us. Now he's he begging, he's begging to, uh, that they should not allow uh, them to impeach uh, 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 the, uh, the assembly. Uh, 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 to populate uh, 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 assembly. You have to stand by your people. He and Okowa. They stood against their people and they served them breakfast at the election. Oh, yes. How can you watch your people dying, your people dying. suffering? Some of the most bloody riots happen in, in, in uh, Edo State. Edo and and you are there, you, are, you and the, the Bayesa government who are joining the uh, uh, federal government. A against How the, are they feeling now? The people. How are they feeling now? So I think How are they we feeling should, now? Yeah, we should the, actually give it to those. The presidential I mean, election uh, has come and gone. Yeah. And so the vote buying, <laughs> you want to talk about? So will you talk Which about it buying? now? I, I, I don't understand. <laughs> people who have made up their minds who to vote for months ago. The lecture with <laughs> some, of, some of the people shouting, thief, thief, thief. Now, we have seen what they did with voting in their, in their different zones. So hmm. nobody should come and, and say... Uh, and play a saint. And, and play a saint. saint Paul. We have hmm. seen how some parties did in the different zones of the country. So, hmm. I mean, it's, uh, the, 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 the smartest of all became the president. Hmm. Yes. All right. We'll continue tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Still, Definitely. Uh, Definitely. There are still things that we've not talked about. The impact <laughs> we'll need... on the economy we've yeah. not really no, discussed. No, it, it was so devastating. You know? No. Devastating. So, more positive and negative reactions continue to trail conduct and the outcome of the presidential election. In another positive review, the presidency has rated the February 25th presidential election won by the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, as the best the country has seen in recent times. Presidential spokesperson Gabra Sheu said the presidential and national assembly elections results are clear mandates for the party to retain power for another four years. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party insist that the election was rigged in favour of APC. Judy, how was that election rigged in favour of APC? Well, um, they are the ones, the people who are saying the elections were rigged. We are reading their lips. We are, they are the ones who will be able to explain. As far as I'm concerned, since 1999, I've not seen an election like this. In terms of, there are many parameters that you can use to judge an election, to assess an election. An election does not have to be perfect. Let's get that right. Do we have America? Did they, did they, was the last election in America perfect? If the American election was perfect, there was no reason why Al Gore should not have defeated George W. Bush yep. in, two, in the year 2000. There's no reason in the world. Mm. Because the gap he gave him... The popular votes. Yes, so in terms yes. of popular vote, was, was, was massive. Yeah. Three million. Mm. Was massive. Three million. So, don't come and tell me 
And it wasn't even the Florida, the recount was, was not same, completed. Same with uh, Clinton and the... Uh, you know what, you see, uh, uh, Trump, if we go back to what happened in the U.S., they, they were manually recounting the Florida vote. Yeah. Yep. And that recounting would have lasted up to two months. Yep. But the American constitution is a powerful one. Once it got to the day when a winner has to be called, yeah. And George Walker Bush was leading by a little over 500 votes. Was it 500 or 5,000 votes? They had to announce him. They had to announce him. Yes, he would still have picked, he would still have taken Florida. Remember, his brother Jeb was mm. governor of Florida. <laughs> he would still have taken Florida. But the county had not ended, but they allowed it to go. It, is, is, it remains painful to Al Gore, but he accepted it. Mm. No election is perfect. That is why the law says that elections must be conducted in substantial compliance with the Electoral Act or the Electoral Law. Once it is conducted in substantial compliance with the Electoral Act, whatever you say at that point is immaterial. That election will be deemed to be good enough, and the, the mandate of the people will be respected. In this case, all of the people complaining about this election, who habitually they don't want us to talk, they are complaining that they did not transmit results real time. What is it that they are transmitting? Results generated from polling from, units. From ECH. Uh, uh, results generated from the more than 100 and 70 something polling units, mm. and then photographed and uh, uh, do the result duly imputed on the form EC8A. Yeah. That is the primary source mm. of validity. Once it is signed by the agents, it is that result that will be uh, put on high rev. Mm. Now, the bulk of the complaint is that there was no transmission. That's the bulk of the complaint. But can you dismiss an election just because one of the items in the guidelines, not in the Electoral Act, or because IREV is not known to the Electoral Act, neither is it known to the Constitution. An item in the guidelines was not complied with. For that reason, you now say you want to dismiss the election, whereas the law says that we are... And I next staff fails to comply with the directive in the guidelines, it will not invalidate the election. I hope some of our people can go and read some of these things. That means the guideline is not going to be superior to the Electoral Act, neither will it be superior to the Constitution. So they have to bear that in mind. The Electoral Act permits INEC to decide on the mode of transmission. Uh, that's uh, uh, section uh, uh, 62 or so of the Electoral Act. So INEC can exercise its discretion. But in this case, what are we even talking about? INEC has now uploaded, <clears throat> as at uh, Sunday, they had uploaded mm -hmm. more than 95% of yeah. the results from those 176,000 uh, polling units. Yeah. Now, if you believe the election has been rigged, go, go there and check. check what and has been uploaded, compare, with what you are, compare it with what have. you have that is signed by your agent. If you cannot see discrepancies, discrepancies then it's better you just shut you see, up. Uh, the, 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 the issue is that the Nigerian Bar Association, as a body, after the election, did a survey on about 5,000 voters all over the country mm. who participated in the election. And what was the result? 64.1% of those uh, in the survey yes. said the election satisfied their... They were satisfied with, they the, were conduct satisfied, with, with, with the conduct of the election. Yes. And internationally, for surveys and opinion polls, when it achieves 61%, when it crosses the 61% threshold, mm. it is acclaimed fantastic. Mm. So, anybody who is aggrieved, to go to court. Now, uh, beyond that, 
we've seen international observers, and this is an, an election that is showing Nigerians that our votes are now counting. Mm -hmm. This is an election where we are seeing... Well, the king, 20 governors are defeated. 20 mm. governors, yeah. 20, 20 governors lost Senate seats. No, 20, presidential election. Uh, mm. 20 governors failed to... Sorry, sorry 20 uh -huh. governors... Failed to failed win to why, deliver their parties. Their parties. Why some governors? Seven governors. Seven governors senatorial lost senatorial seats. Senatorial uh, bids. It has political. never happened. All right, we go for this commercial. When we come back, we'll talk more. Yes, welcome back. This is journalist Angad Mujid. So, at the end of the day, when we look at the conduct of that election and the international community, and you know. Parties want to go to court, and this is advisable. I said it yesterday, within eight months from the Court of Appeal to the Supreme Court, it will be dispensed with. The, the Aousas, they have a saying. I know uh, Jide will speak it better. It's saying, yeah, dairy, me susu me na mani. To bad or dairy, bu buena, including Olobo, the journey. See, all these major parties, the four major parties, they all have what they call situation, situation room, that they set up. So they have party agents in all the polling units. So in all PDP the had more agents than APC. Yes, the PDP had more agents than APC. So now, on Sunday afternoon, the, well, somebody from PDP called a friend of mine and said, ah, what is happening in your camp? I said, ah, don't you have your own uh, situation room? You guys, are, are you not getting uh, uh, reports from your own situation room? Now, the Labour Party is the funniest one. I saw that report on... Uh, somebody told me, but I thought it was joking. No, it was all over Twitter on Punch. Punch did a report on it. They, from their own situation room, they were uploading. When it got to about 80%, when it... No, they, they, they began their own <laughs> uh, collation. independent... Independent collation. Uh, uh, collation. From their own polling agents. After the election. Yes, now. So when they saw that, from the old... No, they were... No, there's this... Um, they were doing this uh, uh, Twitter hangout where they were calling people to upload the reports uh, results from EC8 from all the polling units after the election. So the reports they were getting, it got to a point, they, they saw that at about 80%, it was an unassailable lead by Ashwaju. So the guy shut down the platform. They were now they were, they now went for him as usually. They were abusing him. They were abusing him can abuse that, anybody. that he has collected money. Ah, he said, "How can I collect <laughs> money? Meru, this, right? this was <laughs> the, uh, the reports that you guys gave me." Okay, the people who didn't collect money should do their own. Let us the, the ones who didn't collect money should do their own. <laughs> and Anek is saying, "Go and verify." Verify now. They've uploaded. Anek seven percent. Anek is on about ninety-seven percent now on the IRF. So. This is how many days after the election. Let somebody come out and say, this is my polling unit. You can check. Check. That's to why they vote on it. INEC. You click on presidential election. You click on the state. You click on the local government. You will see your polling unit. Click on your polling unit. The result of your polling unit will come out. So, so challenge if, if, INEC. If, if it's if against it's what different you have, from what you have, let us know. So what are people talking about? Now, Obi, in his uh, interview yesterday on the... On the TV station. On the TV station. Uh, quote and unquote. Mm. I mean, the weekend knows that TV station. I'm not going to mention the TV station here. So he said, he is not challenging the outcome but of the, the election, but the process. Which process Which are we means, talking about? He, he, he's probably aware he has seen the that results. he lost, hands down. Now, Atiku, they were supposed to do that... Um, uh, the rally. That rally together, the one we case, uh, called the uh, 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 black uh, dress wearing. Black dress wearing uh, Aluta. Mm. Said this is not student union. Said the people should. I mean, this is not student union. Said while they were doing that rally, it was missing consuming it's a forty year old whiskey. So <laughs> they were supposed to do it together, but I learned the PDP told the uh, labor that come, don't come and say you are number one here. I'm, I'm, uh, that, I came second. Uh, that, that you came second. So now Shomale told them. Go and settle among mm. yourselves who is a second before you now decide who will uh, challenge the winner. Just like in primary elections, when they will say, okay, 
go and do consensus yes, among sir. yourself and produce, and produce one person. One, uh, one person. So one they should do a consensus, a consensus among, themselves among themselves and, and produce one. the. Uh, who, will, who will challenge, who will challenge the, the, the winner? It's even strange to me that somebody will come third in an election and be, and still be claiming that, that he won. Is all and looking at the spread. Uh, yes, you, you, there is no route. Both of them didn't get 25% in 24 states. Neither of them got it. It was Ashwaju that got 25% in 24 states. So they don't even have any route to the presidency. If you give Obi 10 million more now, add to his vote, he will still not be qualified to be president. I've had people say, oh, 40 million people didn't vote for um, Ashwaju. But what is democracy? <laughs> it is the man that scores the highest vote. Yes, if you are saying 14 million didn't vote for him, that means 22 million didn't vote for uh, be, be, yeah. uh, his uh, opponent too. Before you and that's lay, the way it is. What, what some lay funny claim, argument. Before you lay a claim to presidency, you must have a pathway. Mm. The pathway is, yes, we must have the highest number, which is the, high, the popular votes. You mm -hmm. must have it. Then you must have the spread. So now, some people, now, now I was surprised when Dati Ahmed, the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party, went on his Twitter handle and says that they are the only one who won In Abuja. Abuja. Okay. It's and the most ridiculous argument. That I have never made. seen that kind of so argument. So it means that even if you win the 36 states Faith, and you don't Abuja. have Abuja, you cannot be president. <laughs> people should reason now. Shino, I don't think he's calling us. Hello. Yes, Hello. thank you for joining us. Yeah, this is Dr. Adeshina Adedeji. Mm. All right, go ahead, please. Yeah. It, it's very unfortunate the situation we find ourselves in this country. Uh, despite the fact that we've seen how developing countries are still lacking behind leveraging technology for elections. Looking at this 2023 presidential election, if you look at it, there is a balance. Statistically, it's a different thing. Assuming the result is skewed in favor of, of a particular candidate, let me narrow it down to APC, losing Lagos State, losing Katsina, losing uh, Kaduna. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Labour now saying the election is rigged. If looking at it geospatially, I'm a geospatial expert mm -hmm. with a background in uh, geographic information system. I have a PhD GIS. from the University of Leicester. Mm -hmm. If you combine what has happened with the 2023 presidential election, well, you can see that to me, we can say the election is free, is fair, and is credible. You can't have a perfect system. There no. is always room for improvement. Yeah. There is no perfect system anywhere in the world. Thank you, Shino. Thank you. Thank you. That your candidate did not win, hmm. that does not mean the election <laughs> isn't No, fair, the, fair. the attitude of our people is, it is only where I won that the election was credible, mm. you know? And I've said something, because the bulk of the noise is about Lagos, what happened in Lagos mm. and Rivers. Mm. If you take the whole of the votes of the Southwest away, you take the votes that Ashwa just called the Rivers away, it will still be the winner of the election because he will still score over 7 million. None of the people contested against him scored up to 7 million. No, this is statistically in the, the whole truth. In the whole of the Southeast, Ashwa do Tinubu of the APC scored 172,000 votes. In the whole? In the whole of the Southeast, 172,000 votes. So if they take that one up, it doesn't obliterate its victory. Hmm. All and right. in the whole of the South, we have to go. South, my my friends, would you take you, it away? Would you jam you? Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, what are we talking thank about? Thank you. You won the election. And BQ, thank the you for your contribution. Election. And that's our package today. Join us tomorrow for another episode of the program. And join us this Sunday for Journalist Hangout on Sunday. We're on YouTube, youtube.com slash TVC News Nigeria. I'm Ayodili Uzubafo. Bye for now.